It must be true. Yes, it must be true. The show that tells you all sorts of incredible things, which, since they're on television, must be true. And now, the host of It Must Be True, Garfield the Cat. Thank you, thank you. We have a great show for you tonight, folks. And I just want to remind you of our motto. If they say it on television, it must be true. Here's our first incredible revelation. There's no such place as Wyoming. Think about it. Have you ever met anyone from Wyoming? No, now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever seen a Well, there you are. The myth of Wyoming began in the year 1789, when the great explorer and mapmaker Arbuckle Vespucci was designing the United States. Let's see. I'll put the Oklahoma here. Then I'll put the North Dakota here. No, 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 no. Maybe that should have been nearer South Dakota. See? Ha ha. That's a good. He had some help from his faithful and handsome cat. You dropped a visa. Oh, no. I don't have a room left for those two. Hey, and no sweater. You just put Alaska up here or someplace and stick this Hawaii uh, out here someplace. It's simple. Bellissimo. I have a design of the entire United States and... Uh, oh, no. I left a teensy, tiny little square empty out here. And I'm all out of the states. Hmm. No more states, huh? How about another a Carolina? No. I know. And so the cat wrote in Wyoming, an old Italian word meaning no state here. So there's no Wyoming. And remember, if they said it on television, it must be true. 